Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. We're gonna discuss why everybody's bearish on dollar. This is gonna be a two part video, first fundamental part and second technical part. So the first thing I want you guys to be aware of that on the fundamental side of things, this week on Thursday, we're gonna have the CPA data come out and also on Tuesday, we're gonna have Mr. Powell having a nice speech. So I want you guys to be aware of that I expect me personally this year to talk much more about unemployment than about inflation. So about inflation, keep, keep, keep a reminder that 7% or 6.5% is still a very high inflation. So be aware of that. Okay. Um, on the technical part, I'm going to break down the DXY, what to expect and what to see. On the fundamental side of things, the next thing you should be aware of about this month is going to be the production price index um, and it's going to be about the advanced GDP so be aware of these things guys preserve your capital and in the next part I'm going to break down DXY just a quick mention that we are currently totally range bound and we're at the bottom of the range also next note is about the weekly time frame so what happens here is here we form a nice weekly level here we test it Okay, a little bit front run, a very, very small front run, but still the same theory. Here we form a weak level, we back test it, we go down. Here we form a weak level, we test here and we go down. So essentially, I understand why everybody's like bearish not lower, but guys, keep, um, keep, keep your attention on the high time frame as well. Because we've been sitting at this support at the moment, we, we've been uh, rejected here once, rejected here twice. And essentially, we can be just turning this into a support and we can go to higher levels. Essentially, what you should be looking for as well is just to form a range. So keep in mind that we've been here in range since 2014 until 2022. So that's a very high time frame range, guys. Keep, keep Remember this, okay? That's the important thing. Next, you should be aware that this high time frame breakout so it can be just like a back test and we can follow a nice range here as well or we can just back test this go here this is going to be the first area of resistance that i'll be looking for and then maybe we can jump down i mean this is a possibility as well there's nothing guaranteed in trading but be aware of this and the next thing would be just back test this and go up here to the major level of resistance which is like 120 We've been waiting for this level for a long time. I'll be very interested and happy to see this level being hit. So keep in mind that we're on support. I'm not going to be bearish on support. The idea to be high time frame bullish on DXY, in my opinion, invalidates once you lose this level one right here. One, oh, one. You lose this and then, yeah, we can be we can be bearish on the dollar. OK, and we can be bullish on risk assets. But until then, yeah, that's the main idea. I know that on the monthly time frame, the current candle looks like shit, looks like this, no doubt. That's that's um, that's delusional to say it doesn't. But keep in mind that if we dive into this area, we go bam, bam. That's a very, um, it's very bullish. Just to dive in, tap this monthly from here, and just come back above. Um, yeah, these are the main ideas, guys. So invalidation, lose one on one. Currently, we just like back testing the support, and we can be flying upwards. That's it for now. Thank you.